Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing makeup swatches from Makeup Geek. They're eyeshadows, and then I'm going to be showing you this look. Just threw it together. I really enjoyed this line. So I thought that I would just buy the palette and buy some shadows. So instead of being like on the wait list for a review, I just have been so anxious to try them. So they are amazing quality. Wow, just great. So first I I ordered the large Z palette and this one is in the zebra print. And then I ordered two um, pigments, Utopia and Afterglow, which are gorgeous. But let's start off with the very first one, which is Shimma Shimma. So that's a nice champagne color, good for inner corner highlight the brow bone. The next one is Vanilla Bean. And the pigment of these are just fabulous. So there is Vanilla Bean. And this is a matte finish. We have Beaches and Cream. Matte as well really nice with peach undertones to it. The infamous peach smoothie which I believe is a dupe for Samoa Silk and it's really close to Beaches and Cream. So I don't know if you'd really need both. The next one is Creme Brulee. Right there. Really nice. Great neutrals and they have a great variety of um, other colors too, more bright and vivid. This one is Chickadee. This is matte as well. Right there. This one is Frappy or Frappe. Marlena likes to call it Frappy. And this is just a nice matte brown. There is a swatch. These swatch so nice. I mean, I swatched my MAC palette and I they, they are good shadows, but I don't know. I just like these way better. And for the price, you can't beat it. So here's Purely Naked, and I will list all of the shadows and everything in the description box. Right there. And then here is Goddess. Oh, this is gorgeous. So creamy. Oh my gosh. So it's a little more redder than Cocoa Bear. Or, wait a minute. I'm sorry, that wasn't Cocoa Bear, that was Frappe. Here's Cocoa Bear. Right here, which is very... Very close to Frappe, I think. Just a little bit redder. So here's Frappe, here's Cocoa Bear, there's Goddess. I think this will give you an idea too of which ones you might want, which ones you don't want, if they're um, a little bit more similar. This one is called Hipster and it's a really nice taupe. I really like that color. And then we have Mocha.
which is a nice, um, I would say taupish brown. This one is called Unexpected, which is really pretty cool undertones of a slight purple taupe tinge to it. There's Unexpected. And then Twilight. This is um, kind of like Unexpected, but it has more of a sheen to it. I mean, they just pair so well together, so you can see the sheen on that. Oh, gorgeous. This one is Homecoming, which has a nice sheen to it, another taupe type of color. with a bit of gold undertones, I would say. This one is Pretentious, which is kind of like an olive -y, um, shimmer or satin. Not shimmer. More of a satin. Right there. Here is Mango Tango, which is a very unique color, and it's matte. I love that color. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh, and this one, Razzleberry. Stunning. It has, it's like a red shadow with um, gold sparkles. I don't know if you can pick up the gold in it. That is just so pretty. And oh, you can make some pretty looks with that. This is Corrupt, the blackest black I have ever seen. Then we have Moon Dust, which is like a silvery sheen taupe. Really nice. They glide on just like butter. Here is Latte, which is a nice matte. Here is Cupcake, which I think, oh, my hands are all dirty, sorry. Cupcake, <laughs> and this is a really unique color. It's like a mauve, and it's matte. It's really nice. Look at that. These pigmentations are amazing. And then Gold Digger. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> so those are the swatches of the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to show you the two pigments that I got. And I'm going to put a little fix plus on them so you can see the trueness of the color. Okay, so the first one is in Afterglow. And this one does not have a sifter. You can buy the sifters online, and I just forgot. Otherwise, it's just going to be a big hot mess. <laughs> but the Af but the uh, Utopia has like a little blocker thing, so I don't know if they changed their packaging. So I'm just going to spray 
some Bix Plus on my hand. This is stunning. Gorgeous. It is very messy though. And the customer service is actually really nice. So that was a plus. I had a good experience. So the packaging ha I think has changed. Like, can you tell? Um, this one's a little bit more sleek and this is just kind of different. So here is Utopia, which I was so excited to get. And it has like that blocker, which I wish Afterglow did. So, whoa, just dumped out way too much. Really pretty. So those are the swatches of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I currently have and the pigments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now on to this eye look. Okay, so I'm going to get started off with the eye look. I'm going to be priming my eyes with a MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And everything that I'm wearing I will put in the description box as well. So I'm just going to generously apply, but not too much, all over up to the brow bone. So I'm going to start off with the color Vanilla Bean, which you guys can't see because my <laughs> camera doesn't autofocus, but it's this really um, soft off-white color. I'm just going to be taking a 239 by MAC and I'm just going to be pressing this all over my eyelid. Just for kind of like a base for the other shadows. It's like kind of skin toned color. Okay, so now that I have the vanilla bean all over my eyes, I'm going to go in with the color Purely Naked. Really nice neutral color for transition. And I'm just going to put that right in my socket area. Just go back and forth. And these are so pigmented and creamy, as you guys saw. And they have such a variety that, you know, if you want to do um, neutrals, you can totally do that. Or you can go fun and bold because they do have, you know, a lot of fun colors. And... I swatched my MAC palette, <laughs> it was nothing like this at all, so then I'm going to go into this really pretty color called Cupcake, it's like a pinky mauve color, and I'm going to apply that on the fourth of the eye, just blending. And I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier brush and blend more. Then I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is from the Sonia Kashuk, excuse me, 15th anniversary set. And these are good brushes if you can get your hands on them. And I'm just going to blend kind of over cupcake just to diffuse everything. 
I'm a little bit out of the groove, you guys, <laughs> from not filming. So I have a lot of other videos coming up. Um, Mimi Box, because, oh, I'm so excited about the one that I got and I haven't been able to review it. But I've tried some of the products in there and it's just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to take the color Latte. And what I'm doing is I'm pretty much just building color. And I'm just going to put that on the outer part. It's a little bit of a different hue of brown, so you'll see the contrast. And I put mascara on before just to save some time, and you can definitely put false eyelashes on, but I'm not going to. I don't think I'm just going to kind of leave it be. And I'm going to take this. Um, brush right here, this pencil brush, and I'm going to go into Coco Bear and in with Latte and mix those two together and run that right underneath my lash line. Then I'm going to take the littlest tiny bit of Corrupt just to darken the outer edges and I'm just going to take the pencil brush and just put it right here so I have a little bit more of a smoky look to it and then I'll blend that in then I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to be blending inwards. I don't want to go outwards. So just blend inwards. Then I'm going to just take a black liner. This one is just a Max Black Track. And I'm just going to put that in my waterline. And then I'm going to set that with Corrupt. Can you see how this look would look like fantastic with eyelashes? But I need to save them. I'm just going to wipe the excess off on my hand. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Corrupt. And I'm just going to set that. And that is the eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the swatches of everything. Thank you guys so much for staying with me and thank you for subscribing to the new ones that have come along. I look forward to getting to know you more and until next time, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.